Minister Li Gantia from the Ministry of Ecology and Environment. Now the floor is open. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm from China Central Television. Over the past year, people feel that uh, there are more blue, um, blue sky days, but occasionally we may have a smog day. And uh, so may I know your comments on our efforts last year regarding uh, fighting pollution? Thank you very much for your question. I would, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to our friends at the media who have been long following and supporting and participating and contributing to our efforts in fighting against the pollution. The fight against the pollution is a major decision made by the central government. Since we launched this campaign a year ago, different social walks have been following the Xi Jinping thoughts, and we have been following the arrangements at the central government, and uh, we are committed of winning this very important battle against the pollution. And uh, in general, we have registered a very good beginning, beginning and uh, the ecological and environmental um, parameters have been constantly improving. And uh, in 2018, the PM 2.5 average has dropped by 9.3 percent. In Beijing, PM 2.5 decreased by 12.1 percent. And this is a great result that we have gained on a basis of a 20.5 percent decrease against 2017. In terms of water, we are also witnessing water quality increase. In general, Ecological preservation is registering very sound results. In the meantime, we have met the requirements and targets that we set for the 13th five-year plan. And beyond any doubt, there is a lot of uh, improvement and progress. To some extent, uh, from some perspective, it tells us that we have been following the right track and path. And so that's why we are very confident about winning this battle. And uh, But in the meantime, we must be mindful that uh, this battle is very daunting, and we have a lot of challenges, and a lot of them are very big ones. The current situation is not quite optimistic. I would say it's rather challenging. And you see, these days in Beijing, we still have some smog. And it tells how difficult it is to win this battle as a organization committed to this very important campaign. And we feel enormous pressure. And we are never slacking our efforts in a battle against the pollution. And uh, for our next step, our general consideration, our general plan is to earnestly implement what President Xi Jinping said in the Central Economic Conference, where he said that we have to consolidate our achievements. We, have, we can't walk a return journey, and we cannot select our efforts. We have to grasp with these very important targets in an unswerving uh, manner. And we have to further continue with our efforts. And for our plan this year, we have to fight against for negative mindsets. We can never select, uh, select, uh, select in our efforts. We have to be uh, persistent. We have to be shouldering up these very important responsibilities. And we have to have five persistences. Uh, we have to be persistent in implementing President Xi Jinping's thoughts. We have to be persistent in implementing the work arrangement of the Central Economic Conference. And we have to be persistent in winning this battle. And we have to be persistent in 
modernizing modernizing the institution, and we have to be persistent in enhancing the uh, capacity of our organization. And uh, there is also six must in our plan this year. As with the deployments on the fight against the pollution, those are our uh, measures and our attitudes. First, uh, we shall make progress uh, on the basis of uh, stable progress. And we need to um, make our best efforts according to our strengths. Second, for our work, we need to pursue a good environmental effect and a good social economic effects and strive to realize a reduction in pollution, environmental improvement, uh, structuring, improved structuring, and also uh, the ease of social conflicts and the stability of the society. And thirdly, we need to have a comprehensive set of measures, legislative ones and market economy uh, policies, approaches. Uh, in particular, we should have uh, law-based approaches. Fourth, uh, we should work on both the macro and the micro level. We should have uh, top-level designs and uh, the law enforcement efforts. Fifth, we need to pursue progress on uh, the general agenda and have important breakthroughs. And uh, don't force uh, uniformity on all fronts. Last, we need to deal with problems left from the past and create an enabling environment for future development. And we need to avoid uh, frauds and uh, uh, image, image work so as to ensure that environmental improvement is of uh, concrete uh, is of con concrete nature, and uh, we need to fight seven battles to have uh, blue sky and in the uh, quality improvement of the uh, water of Yangtze River and many other rivers and lakes, and also uh, the battle on rural pollution. All those are to ensure that we can win the confidence of the people. OK, another another question. Last year, you mentioned that the establishment of the ministry will be beneficial for five aspects. And people are very concerned about the five as aspects you mentioned. What are the progress? Yeah, last year on the press briefing at the two sessions, I mentioned that the the plan of the new ministry has built five bridges uh, over surface and uh, underground, uh, land and ocean, urban and rural areas, in between um, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, etc. For the past year, we've been working with related authorities and uh, we have been researching on our reform work, we have been very active in reforming our uh, institute, uh, the staff, and detailed specific work so as to realize synergy. It is fair to say that in the last year, we have reached objectives for our reform with good effects with both physical and uh, chemical effects. And we have uh, progress, concrete progress made. We have uh, reached uh, progress in terms of uh, the transfer of staff, etc., with seven uh, ministerial authorities as scheduled. Second, we have been working according to the reform plan of the State Council Ministries. And this plan was released to the public, so I won't go into detail. And as with chemical effects, chemical reactions, we optimized the forces in our system. 
and we identified agencies that would spearhead certain campaigns, and we see concrete results in this regard. This has also facilitated the efficient, effective, and orderly advance of our work. Let me give you an example. In oceans, lakes, rivers, uh, environmental protection has one common feature, that is the problem is in the water, but actually the root cause is on the shore, is on the ground. For all diseases, we need to cure its root, uh, their root causes. And uh, to improve water quality, we started campaigns on improving the quality of water in, uh, in Yangtze River and uh, Bohai. And we stepped up the supervision on the outlets of wastewater of companies and have four aspects of work. We track down the pollution sources and have been uh, working with good progress in all those aspects. To be frank, without this institutional reform, the Ministry of the Environment uh, didn't take care of uh, the water bodies, then those campaigns would come across difficulties because responsibilities of all those uh, rivers or oceans are uh, dispersed among different ministries. So the establishment of the Ministry of Ecology and Environment is a smart choice from the State Council and the Central Party Committee. And uh, the overlap of responsibilities between ministries has been resolved. And this has also helped us in doing a good job on fighting against the pollution. Going forward, we'll continue to work with related authorities and on the basis of doing a good job within our system, we'll actively provide guidance to provincial level and grassroots level authorities so as to uh, render more dividends to the people and give them a stronger sense of gain. OK, another question, a very simple one. During the two sessions, do you have a, a press briefing? Just now, I saw over 20 journalists that are still interested in posing questions. Currently, um, uh, in the afternoon uh, at uh, 3 o'clock on March 11th, I have a press briefing, and I'll be glad to take our questions then. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Lee.